As you all know, the new update of B43 for Free Fire has been released, and many users are facing issues because after this update, Free Fire is not working on many emulators. In fact, I tried this update on more than 30 emulators, and only 3 to 4 emulators were able to run the update successfully. That's why in today's video, I will provide you with 5 emulators on which you can easily play Free Fire's new update up 43. I will also provide the links to all these emulators in the description below. So, let's get started with the video. Let's roll. <laughs> Number 5 on the list is the emulator called X-Player. It is a lightweight Android emulator with a size of just 300 MB. Many people might think it's an old emulator, but despite that, you can easily play Free Fire's new update on this emulator. This Android emulator is well suited for gamers, seeking a smooth and responsive experience, especially when playing resource-intensive games like Free Fire. When I tried the new update on this emulator, I initially got around 30 to 35 FPS. On number four, we have Chameleon Light. The standout feature of this emulator is that you can easily play Free Fire. In this Android emulator, you will find key mapping available in 70% of games. To run this Android emulator, your PC should have at least 2 GB of RAM and a dual-core processor. Number 3 on the list is the GT Arcade emulator, and its size is slightly larger, around 500 MB. Currently, I haven't posted a video on this emulator, but you may find one in the future. Regarding the system requirements, your PC should have at least 4 GB of RAM, although it may work with 2 GB, but you might not get more than 2025 FPS. This Android emulator runs on Android 7, and it is easily compatible with 32-bit PC. Number 2 on the list is the Mimu Play 7 emulator, and its size is just 250 MB. This Android emulator is compatible with both 32-bit and 64-bit PC. In Mimu Play 7, you'll see Android 7. One notable feature of this emulator is that it provides you with 80% key mapping. Regarding the system requirements for this Android emulator, your PC should have 4 GB of RAM, and it's preferable to have an inbuilt graphics card. Now, let's move on to the last and final emulator. On number one, we have BlueStacks 5. BlueStacks is a well-known emulator, and almost all PC users are familiar with it. There are several versions of BlueStacks available, but BlueStacks 5 is considered the best. The reason for this is that it increases the chances of getting headshots in Free Fire, especially when using a tweaker to further enhance the chances of headshots. In this Android emulator, you will see Android 5. Regarding its size, it's just 300 MB. So, friends, these were five Android emulators on which you can easily play the new update of Free Fire. Let me know which emulator you liked the best in the comments.